Everyone tells you that becoming a cloud engineer requires endless hours, relentless grinding, and building project after project until you are completely burnt out. But what if I told you that this approach is completely backwards? Because there's a lazy way to become a cloud engineer. And before you click away thinking that this is nonsense, let me be very clear. I use the word lazy very deliberately here because lazy people find the quickest, most efficient way to get something done so they don't waste any unnecessary time. I'm Suleiman and I've worked in tech for over a decade and today I run my own businesses in consulting, software and education. Now through my academy, I've helped more than 500 students learn cloud and AI. In this video, I'm going to give you my no filter, no BS approach to breaking into cloud engineering without burning out. This advice is based on my own experience working in Fortune 500 companies advising my clients as well as helping my students transition into six-figure roles. First, you need to understand what most people are missing about the job market for cloud engineers right now. You see, while everyone's worried about AI taking their jobs, something massive is happening behind the scenes. The AI industry is creating the largest infrastructure boom in human history and cloud engineers are at the center of all of it. Microsoft, Google, Meta and Amazon are all spending over $320 billion in 2025 on AI infrastructure alone. And today, cloud providers are now AI providers as much as they are cloud providers because the cloud solves one fundamental bottleneck for AI. It allows AI to scale. And in 2025 and going forward, AI and cloud have become inseparable partners, so you can't have one without the other. Every company trying to integrate AI into their business needs cloud infrastructure to make it work. So while people are paralyzed by fear and layoffs, there's an unprecedented demand for cloud engineers. And the numbers paint the clearest picture. The cloud computing market is growing at 21% this year, worth around $900 billion. But over the next decade, it's going to explode to over $5 trillion. That's a tsunami-like expansion happening right in front of our eyes. The question isn't whether you should learn cloud engineering in 2025, it's whether you'll learn it the hard way or the lazy way. And after coaching over 500 students, here is why most people are choosing the hard way without even realizing it. Most education programs for cloud engineering are designed for people who want to feel busy. It's designed for people who want to feel productive, like they are learning something, but crucially, they're not designed for people who want to get hired. And I call this the cloud learning trap. And from what I've noticed, there are three types of people trying to break into the cloud. Number one, the certification collectors. These people believe more certifications equals to more job opportunities. They will spend three, four, or even $5,000 getting AWS certifications while having zero hands-on experience building real projects. They know what every service is and what it does, but they can't design a solution that actually works for a business. Number two, the tutorial followers. The overwhelming majority of people fall into this category. They follow step-by-step -step guides building identical tutorials projects that look impressive, but they actually demonstrate zero independent thinking. And the moment that the tutorial ends, so does the understanding. But there's one group of engineers that are positioning themselves expertly for six-figure roles, which is group number three, the first principles cloud engineers. These are the engineers that stand out in the job market today. They don't just know how to use cloud services, they think in terms of trade-offs constraints and business outcomes. The problem is that most boot camps and online courses are designed completely backwards. Let me explain because I have a bone to pick with the industry. They will tell you to follow these steps, build these exact projects on the AWS console and get these certifications. It's like a factory assembly line pumping out the same identical engineers. And that's because the people running these programs, well, they are just cloud instructors. That's all they know. They can teach you cloud, but they're not giving you the blueprint on how to think like an engineer and and how to tackle problems like an entrepreneur would. They are not rewiring your mindset and approach to solving problems from first principles so that after you've completed the program, you can attack any problem that you face in the real world with real confidence and genuine expertise. They're not building their own software company, solving real problems in an industry that they have expertise in because, well, simply they can't. And that's the cold hard truth. And yeah, Stay tuned for that, by the way, because I'm super excited to announce something really cool for you guys very soon. I've been building something very real, and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. I've been working on this tirelessly for over a year with a team of my own personal engineers. And yeah, I'm doing it all myself. I've not got an agency helping me out like other creators do. I'm in the trenches and building my own businesses in cloud, AI, software. And that's why people want to learn cloud from me because I've got real industry experience. I've got my own consultancy building software. I've got these YouTube channels. So yeah, it makes sense. I've got real practical experience. I'm not here telling you that you should be using the AWS console or getting all these certifications like everybody else because people can only tell you what to do based on what they've done, right? 
it makes sense because a lot of people on here, on YouTube, on Instagram, all these people, they don't actually have real hands-on experience solving problems for clients and building solutions, right? All their experience stops at the AWS console where you click a few buttons. They can't write actual code. So you don't really want to be learning from people who aren't real engineers, people that just know certifications or using the console because the real world does not work like that. Only learn from people with real experience who've been there and they've done it. Now, the same people that are in my academy are the same people and on the same path that you are probably right now, trying to get a breakthrough and finally change your life of cloud engineering. I did the same thing myself five years ago and I did it in just three months. So I know what it's like. I know the struggle of being laid off and having your back against the wall, trying to learn a new skill set to get hired in tech. Maybe I've slightly gone off a tangent here. I think it's really important for everyone to truly understand that. And this is something that I've learned over the years. And I think as every day passes, it becomes more apparent to me, especially in today's world. It's very important for you to understand that you shouldn't take advice from someone who isn't in the place that you want to reach. So back to what I was saying, most beginners are stuck in this cloud learning trap. It's quite simply because of the advice that tells you to learn all the services. They're telling beginners that you need to master Kubernetes and get every certification. And sure, this approach might eventually work by luck because after a few years, you just covered everything, but it's inefficient. And quite frankly, it's very demotivating and frustrating to go through because simply there's a better approach and it's what I call the super 80-20. Now you've probably heard of the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule. That's 20% of your effort typically produces 80% of your results. But here is what most people don't realize. When you're learning something technical like the cloud, this rule becomes even more extreme. It's not 80-20 it's closer to 95 to five. 5% of cloud tools and services will give you 95% of practical problem solving ability. 5% of your learning time spent on the right fundamentals beats all of the time spent grinding through every AWS service. Think about it. There are over 200 AWS services. And how many of these do senior engineers actually use often? Maybe 10? max 15. And this is why you see engineers who've been learning cloud for two years still struggling to get hired while others are landing 150k positions after just three to six months of focused strategic learning. The difference isn't in the talent or the work ethic, it's knowing which 5% actually matters. So how do you identify and focus on the critical 5%? That's where the lazy framework comes in and there is four steps. Step one is pattern recognition over memorization. Instead of trying to memorize every AWS service, focus on understanding the fundamental patterns of cloud architectures. Once you see that most cloud solutions follow similar patterns, you need compute power, you need to store data, you need to connect things securely, and you need to monitor everything. You can architect solutions way faster. When I study any new cloud concept, I ask four key questions. What business problem does this solve? Why would a company choose this over other alternatives? In what scenario would this approach fail? And how does this fit into the bigger architectural picture? These questions force your brain to build connections and not just store isolated facts. But knowing patterns is only half the battle. You need to prove that you can apply them. Which is step number two, strategic project building. Everyone says build projects, but they don't tell you which projects actually matter for cloud engineering. And here is the lazy approach. Pick one problem domain that you understand better than most people. If you've worked in e-com, build a cloud solution for retail. If you understand legal or healthcare, take your knowledge and build something using the cloud to solve a problem problem. Focus on building something that shows both technical and business sides of cloud infrastructure. And in 2025, there's an additional advantage that you can leverage, which is step number three, the AI integration. AI tools like Claude and ChatGPT can accelerate your learning, but most people are using them in the complete wrong way. You can turn AI into your practice partner. Ask it to role play as a startup CEO and throw real challenges that businesses are facing and you focus on solving these problems. Get AI to generate realistic scenarios where an AWS service could fail and how you would architect around each one. So you're not just learning services in isolation, you're building architectural thinking. The key here is using AI to practice your strategic thinking and not to avoid thinking altogether. The point is a lazy cloud engineer isn't competing with AI. They are using it to elevate their ability to think and solve harder problems, which in turn allows you to command way higher salaries because as Elon Musk says, we're all paid in direct proportion to the difficulty 
difficulty of the problems that we solve. But even with all of these advantages, there is one element that accelerates everything else, which is step number four, mentorship. I've touched on this earlier. This isn't anything new. This has been around for many years and the grind alone crowd, the hero's arc that everyone wants to buy into, the DIY approach, they're all ignoring one crucial thing. Every world-class athlete has coaches and mentors. Michael Jordan had Tim Grover. Messi and Ronaldo have coaches. Djokovic has a coach. The best athletes in the world have coaches to mentor them and help them through. Yet somehow people think as a complete beginner, trying to learn something new, they should learn in complete isolation. I get it. The internet is flooded with get rich quick schemes in 30 days. Most of them are scams and you're right to be skeptical. But here is the difference. Good mentorship isn't selling you shortcuts. It's giving you the strategic thinking to avoid wasting years going in circles. A great mentor doesn't just teach you AWS. They show you which problems are worth solving and how to position yourself in the market. The lazy approach is to find someone who's walked the same path and get them to show you how to navigate yours. I know there's people going to be commenting, oh, Oh, he's only here to try sell me something. First of all, I know that 90% of you are here just for the free stuff. And that's great. That's what these videos are for. So many of you comment on my videos all the time, thanking me because watching these videos have actually helped you land your first cloud job. But I also know that 10% of people that are watching actually want my help and my mentorship because they value their free time and they need to make a change in their career. And those people are the people that I can actually help. If that's not you, quite frankly, I don't care. The one thing you can't deny is the best athletes in the world have mentors and coaches helping them, giving them an extra edge. LeBron James literally spends over $1 million on his body every single year. So make of that what you will. Now look, I know this journey that you're on feels overwhelming at times. The pace of change in cloud, in tech, the AI transformation is happening right now. The pressure to learn everything. Maybe you've been stuck in tutorial hell for months. Maybe you've spent some money on certifications that haven't led to anywhere. Maybe you're wondering if you're even cut out for this. Those feelings are completely normal whenever you're starting something new. It's meant to be hard, but to get to where you want to go, you have to find a better path forward. So start small, pick one business problem that you understand, maybe from your current job or from previous experiences, spend a few minutes each day thinking about how cloud infrastructure could solve it better. Don't worry about being perfect from day one. Instead, focus on making progress every single day because in 2025, the AI infrastructure boom is creating opportunities that we have never seen before. Companies are hiring cloud engineers who can bridge the gap between technical solutions and business needs. Now that could be you. Whether you're starting from zero or you've been stuck for months, it's never too late because the cloud isn't going anywhere. So take your time, but take action. Your future self will thank you. And if you need my help, go check out the link in the description below and see if you qualify for my help. Good luck.